Okay, but I saw about the fanaticos is the end of the door. Another boxing analysis. This is a post fight analysis between Teofimo Lopez from Honduras by way of Brooklyn, New York, where all of the, the Brooklynites are from. You know, never scared, never scared, never run, never will, whatever it is. Home of the motherfucking Timberlands, you feel me? The Timberland boots. Versus Diego Magdaleno, Pride of Mexico, Mexico City, Mexico. It was a Honduras versus Mexican showdown. If you missed it, I don't know what the fuck you were doing. This was special. This was a great fight. Honduras versus Mexico. Mexico versus Honduras is always a great battle, and Honduras came on top. Let me say that. I'm not going to make this video very long because Diego was really, really talented. He tried his best. He was landing some really good shots in the early rounds. As soon as he slowed down, the intensity picked up from Teofimo, the accuracy picked up from Teofimo Lopez, and the overall feints, the power, the speed, the leaping ability, everything just went up, 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 up. He just got so freaking, he, he, he was just spectacular tonight. He was magnificent tonight. If he fights like that, if he could keep that energy, if he keep that confidence, he has the confidence of a 25-year-old, a 26-year-old in his prime. He has the confidence of a true veteran. Teofimo Lopez, man, this guy is motherfucking phenomenal. If you don't, you're just a fucking hater. There's so many haters out here. We don't need, we got enough of those on Twitter. You got enough of those on Instagram. You come on YouTube, you come on my shit, you come correct. Teofimo Lopez is the future of boxing. He's the future of boxing. He's the future. Do you know how hard it is to knock somebody out? with a leaping left hook, and then you do it twice, he did two, like a Roy Jones type shit, he ain't Roy, I get it, don't slander me, don't come on here talking crazy, but I'm just saying, he has shades of Roy Jones tonight, appreciate this man in his prime, he ain't even in his prime, he's just, he ain't even at his peak, the guy is something special, we are watching something incredible. I need you guys to comment in the comment section below. Am I exaggerating? Or do you feel that Teofimo Lopez is the real deal holy field? Let me know in the comment section below. Let me know in that comment section below. Oops. Reconnecting my fault. I apologize about that. But uh but yeah, man, we we are we are dealing with a superstar. We are dealing with a superstar. That's a real mofo. You righty. Chocolate bacon. What's up, my guy? Chocolate bacon. Man, you always show love. You always in the chat. Chocolate bacon. Who's next for Teofimo Lopez? You know me, baby. I want motherfucking Lomanchenko. Give me Lomanchenko. That was incredible. You damn right it was. That's why boxing is in a beautiful place. When boxing is at the top of the tip tippity top of where it could ever be i was watching in 09 it was fantastic to me that's when i really started getting into it 08 09 you know that's when i really started boxing a lot and i took it serious it's over 10 years ago please give the boxers credit give diego magdaleno credit for hanging in there as long as he did yes he got embarrassed but he he can hold his head up high because he gave his best self he gave his, his highest value, his highest honor of who he is, and that's his soul to the game. He gave his valor, his, 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 he was just very honorable tonight. He tried his best, and I love to see somebody try their fucking best. Even though they're getting countered, they're getting hit with pot shots, they're getting hit with straight right hand leads, they're getting hit with uppercut leads, which you never see in boxing unless it's a no needle don't air. Old school no needle and, uh, uh, old school, Char you know, with Charlo still doing it, but stuff like that. You don't see lead, right, uppercuts, and left. It was fucking brilliant, man. <sighs> Let me calm down. T.O. Field Lopez is the truth. Who do you see in the top 10 that can even compete with him besides Lomachenko? Let me know in the comment section below. In the comment section below. 
Yeah, man. Uh, I'm going to show you some highlights of the fight. A lot of people want to see highlights of this fight, so I'm going to show you guys some highlights. Of it. Hold on one second. One second, one second, one second. One second. And while I'm doing this, you guys could be commenting what um, fight is next for Teofimo Lopez. Because the motherfucker is sensational. He is a beast. Let's see. Teofimo Lopez. Full fight. No, I just want to see highlights. Here we go. Highlights right here. And then motherfucker hit a note. Get a motherfucking back. That motherfucker is so acrobatic. And he could be a gymnast if you wanted to. So here we go, people. Highlights of top rank fights and Teofimo Lopez doing this motherfucker thing. Here we go. You gonna have that bravado thugging. Oh, Lee right up and cut like a tough. But good footwork from Diego. Slip slipping out of there. Hopefully you guys can see it. There we go. Mm, four points time. Look at that. Look at the speed, man. Speed is fucking incredible. Oh, look at that move. Did y'all see that move, man? Never saw the left hook coming. That was the beginning of the end. You never saw the left hook coming. Dago was out on his feet. Oh, right hand. They should stop it right there, but they didn't. Now he's taking unnecessary punishment. You can't really even see the punches coming. Still got some bravado. Faces full of blood, his own blood. Oh, oh, that second one was this. He's gone, that's it. He's out. He didn't even brace yourself. Fuck. That's what it was. That's what it is. Teofimo Lopez, a special, extremely special. One of the best boxer punchers in the sport of boxing today. Top three, in my opinion. Top three. I do still want to see him face A class level. This was B tonight because Diego is no slouch. This was B class tonight in between B minus to B. A class coming up soon. I'm so excited to see what he can do with A class talent, A class ability. It's going to be a beautiful thing to see. Only thing I would say for Diego, I mean, not Diego, but um, 
Teofimo. Some cons, he needs to keep his hands up more. He needs to be very smart. When he goes to A-level, he needs to use more footwork to set up com combinations. I would like to see him uh, parry more and then counter. And last but not least, know when to hold, know when to fold. But that comes with time, that comes with experience. Not going to beat him up too much. Those are the only things I had to really say about him. Uh, you guys tell me what you think in the comment section below. You just saw the greatness, the, the spontaneous nature, the power, the composure. His dad is a lot to blame for that. Uh, uh, not blame, but give uh, props to to mold your son into such a winner like that. You feel me? And that confidence, that Roy Jones, that Floyd Mayweather Jr. type of confidence is one, one in a lifetime type of stuff. So anyways, who should Teofimo Lopez face next at, I believe he fights at 135 pounds or 130? Whichever one, the Dev Devin Haney fight is a super fight. It's down the line, probably five years from now, probably three, three to five years from now. The super fight, the mega fight, the pay-per-view fight. Ryan Garcia, maybe even two. Ryan got to get way better because this guy tonight knocking Ryan Garcia out in five rounds. I, I said it right here. Uh, Teofimo Lopez, special Honduran fighter. He's going to be the first multi-world multi champion from Honduras. You got one. You got a big one. So represent, show love, and uh, support your fighter. Anyways, I'll get back to you guys with more boxing news analysis and updates. Thank you so much for coming into my live. People who did not come into my live, you caught it late. Make sure that you like, rate, comment, subscribe. Like, rate, comment, subscribe. Drop some down in that super chat if you want to. If you don't, that's okay too.